I, I think it's pretty clear that it's not what it once was. I think for previous generations, you know, it was obviously kind of the ticket. Like our, our parents' generation was, and then previous generations were raised, you know, if you go to college, you're going to get a good job. You're going to do better um, than everybody else, and you're going to do better than, say, your parents did. I think we're kind of the first generation where that's not necessarily true, but that's not the same thing as that not being true. Um, I think higher education still makes sense for probably the majority of the population, or not the majority of the population, but uh, a large, large percentage of the population. Um, but I, I think, I think education in general, we need to, we need to reevaluate it. I don't think it. The world is changing so fast. Technology is changing so fast that for certain personalities or certain learning styles or certain career paths it's not it doesn't make as much sense as it used to I, I need to be comfortable so if I'm in a crummy hotel it, it can be difficult I mean you can manage for a few days at a time but um, you know back when I was like 23 I didn't really care I'd post my laptop up anywhere and go crazy but uh, you know these days I need to focus a lot more the work I'm doing is a lot more important so um, so yeah it's important to be you know nice apartment nice city not tons of noise outside distractions cockroaches everywhere um, so yeah that's something I pay more attention to now the big one is is uncertainty um, that seems to be the big psychological block that I see in most people. You know, when you're following kind of the conventional path of, you know, school, make good grades, go get a job, work your way up the, the corporate ladder, um, it's always clear what the next rung is because the person in front of you is defining it. You know, your boss is telling you what to do, um, the industry is telling you what to do, the schoolwork is telling you what to do. When you kind of set off on this other path, you have to learn how to simply do things without knowing if it's the right thing to do. And that, that seems to mess people up. You start running into all sorts of people who never had anxiety issues suddenly have anxiety issues. People who, who were always very confident in themselves are suddenly not confident in themselves. Um, and I, I think certain people's personalities are more adapted to that. I've always thrived very much uh, in unstructured environments. Um, I've always preferred unstructured environments. I've always preferred uncertainty um, and trying to f discover things on my own. And I think a lot of people aren't like that. And it and it's, takes a, a couple years probably to kind of train yourself to become more comfortable with that. Early on, I just couldn't seem to scale anything. I had a consulting side of my business, and I couldn't scale that. Um, you know, it seemed like any time I tried to push the price higher or get more clients in some way, it just hit a roadblock. And then I tried to create different products, and none of them would perform any better than the previous ones. Up until then, I had kind of just been blogging on the side. I saw it as kind of 50% part of my marketing and 50% like passion project. It was my favorite part of the business. But I, I wasn't ever, it wasn't ever completely clear to me that that, I, I had a competitive advantage in that aspect of my business. Um, and it was actually a reader of mine who got in touch with me. And he had been a consultant and he had worked with other internet business, like very successful internet business people and internet bloggers. And he told me, he's like, dude, you need to write a book. Like, <laughs> stop screwing around with all this other stuff. Like, you're okay at these other things. You're a really good writer. You should be writing. Like, that's what your focus should be on. And so I kind of took it to heart and, you know, took four or five months and banged out a book. And that's just, that changed everything. I mean, it, it's funny too. Like, I, I don't even have a sales page for my first book. And, and it completely revamped my entire business. I mean, it launched what I would consider a career. Thank you.